Now we have moved to the very important part of the lecture or I will say that the interesting part that is how the hemoglobin synthesize and the structure of the hemoglobin. Hemoglobin A is a globular protein with a diameter of 6.4 nanometer, has a molecular weight of 64,000 daltons, consists of four polypeptide chain and the weight of each monomer is 16,000 daltons. And you have seen in the structure in the last lecture that it is composed of two alpha chains and the two beta chains and they are, it is a tetramer. The four iron atoms are in the ferrous state. There are about 3 million hemoglobin molecule in each red blood cell and there are 5 million red blood cell in each drop of the blood. Hemoglobin synthesis is a complicated process. This take place in the red blood cells. The heme part is synthesized in the mitochondria. You have seen that how the synthesis of the heme takes place and you know it very well that the synthesis of the protein takes place at the cytosol. Therefore, the globin is synthesized, sorry, the, uh, it is synthesized at the ribosome, protein is synthesized at the ribosome. So, heme is synthesized in the mitochondria, whereas protein is synthesized in the cytosol at the ribosomes and give rise to alpha, 2 alpha and 2 beta chains of the proteins are produced. Heme molecule will have protoporphyrin 9 formed by the chemical combination of glycine and succinyl coa in the presence of vitamin B6 and heme is formed. Transferrin gives iron which will combine with the heme molecule. So heme molecule consists of protoporphyrin 9 protein and the so three things, three things they combine together to give the hemoglobin molecule. One is the heme which is synthesized in the mitochondria and the cytosol, partly in the mitochondria and partly in the cytosol. The protein which are synthesized at the ribosome and the transferrin which is a transporting protein and it provides iron which combines with the heme molecule. Now here, you first follow my pointer, the U-shape link is formed and glycine and succinyl coa they form heme. This is the process, same process which we have studied in lecture number two. So here you can see glycine and succinyl coa in the presence of vitamin B6, they combine and they form heme. On the other hand, porphyrin is formed and the transferrin, the, it then transfer iron and you can see here iron is present in the ferrous form and this iron it incorporates into a heme uh, porphyrin and in this way a heme molecule is formed. Actually iron is stored as ferritin and then it is transported by transferrin in the ferrous form to the porphyrin, protoporphyrin 9 and in this way the heme molecule is synthesized. Up till it is only a heme molecule. <coughs> we have not combined it with the protein. Here you can see the amino acids. The amino acids on the ribosome, they form the alpha and the beta chains. And the two alpha and the two beta chains, they combine. And in this way, the heme and the protein, they combine together to form the hemoglobin. Now the hemoglobin, the tetramer, of the hemo, uh, heme molecule, four protein chains, alpha, two alpha chains in pink, two beta chains in red, 
they combine with the heme molecules, four heme molecules, and in this way, a uh, hemoglobin molecule is synthesized. Because hemoglobin is composed of a tetramer heme. Production of hemoglobin continues in the cell throughout its early development from proerythroblast to reticulocyte. What is reticulocyte? Reticulocytes are immature red blood cells. They develop and mature in the bone marrow, then circulate for about a day in the bloodstream before developing into a mature RBC. Nucleus is lost in the mature mammalian RBC, but the ribosomal RNA is there. Ribosomal RNA is there, allows the further synthesis of the hemoglobin. And you know what is the function of the RNA? RNA is required for the synthesis of the proteins. And RNA is also required for the synthesis of the enzymes because enzymes are also protein in nature. And if you remember, the delta amino levolenic acid synthase is a protein and an enzyme and it is synthesized by the RNA. <coughs> Hemoglobin structure we have already discussed that it has a quaternary structure. I explained to you what is a quaternary structure. Quaternary structure is the uh, when the monomers, they are arranged in a way to make a complete functional unit, we call it a quaternary structure. Each protein chain arranges into a set of alpha helix structural segments and connected together in a globin folded arrangement. You have seen the arrangements of the chains in the helical segments. I have already told you that the four monomers, they are attached together by the hydrogen bonds. <coughs> the tetramers in a RBC, they are the hemoglobin molecule. The monomers of the hemoglobin molecule, they are uh, attached together or they are linked together by the hydrogen bond. Here we can see heme molecule is there and in the heme this red dot is the iron. Two alpha chains are there and two beta chains are there. So this is a complete tetrameric hemoglobin molecule, a complete functional unit and this is the quaternary structure of hemoglobin and the subunits, they are held together by the hydrogen bonds. Here we can see, this is the four firing molecule. This RBC, in the RBC, this dot represents the hemoglobin, and this is the uh, iron present, and the heme molecule is present, and these are the two alpha and the two beta chains. Hemoglobin quaternary structure come from its four subunits, tetrahedral arrangement. Each subunit, I've already told you several times, each subunit is made up of protein chain tightly associated with a heme group. This folded pattern contains a pocket that strongly binds the heme group. Heme group consists of an iron held together by a heterocyclic ring which is known as the porphyrin. 